So today I had a call from a gentleman that owns a motorhome and he said he's got some kind of a problem with his GPS display and the radio display and the uh, backup camera display. I guess they're all combined in one one unit. So anyway, I'm gonna go out there and see what I can do for the guy. A little bit of a drive ahead of me here, so I suppose I better get going. You know, it's funny because right now the sign on my shops says TV antennas. It says Dave's TV, but it doesn't say anything about doing um, RV repair. So it's funny how people just assume because you work with electronics that you automatically know how to fix anything electronic. It doesn't always work that way. But uh, anyway, I just thought I'd give it a shot. You know, what the heck. Nobody else uh, brought anything in today. So we'll see what, uh, see what I can do when I get out there. Uh, just turned off the road here. Oh, oh, that's the house right there. Okay. Wow, look at that tower this person has in their backyard. Okay, I guess that's the motorhome I'm going to be working on there. Looks like a fairly new motorhome. I guess I'll find me a place to park here. Well, I'm wondering, do I dare get out of the car? I've got these ferocious looking dogs here greeting me. And they, they, they're sure barking up a storm. I don't know, you guys don't look that threatening. We'll see here. Well, there you are. <laughs> I'll delete it if you don't want me to video you, but I uh, I have a YouTube channel. Well, this, this is a nice rig in here. Nice and cool. Of course, that's because the air conditioner is going. So this is the unit we're working on right here. All right, puppy. That's enough now. This is the unit right here? correct. Okay. Well, we're going to see what's involved in getting that thing out of there. Uh, well, I mean, I'll show you what it's... It's what it's doing? Now. Okay. Is it okay if I walk over here? Oh, of course. I, I banged on it this <laughs> time again. How's that going to work again? Now it quit working, huh? Okay. Well, it looks like that monitor is made to pop right out of there. Well, yeah, and I don't know how. Oh, okay. Well, we'll figure but, it out. Yeah. Uh, but, um, well, 70. Yeah, I mean, but uh, if I push some heat now to back up, it comes on. Oh, yeah. But, but, um, so when it, when it quits, the whole display goes out. Yeah. Is there any light on it or is it just dark? Complete, Looks like that. Oh, completely dark. Okay. Yeah. That tells me a lot. <laughs> uh, oh, no, it does. It helps. Okay, okay. Uh, so, so this whole unit just pops right out of here. I like that design. Um, and I'm guessing the problem could be in here or it could be on these connectors on the back. And that's the thing that, since you said you can hit it, you hit this to make it work, right? This unit yeah. right here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes me very suspicious of these connectors here. I mean, they're gold plated and all, but they are soldered on on the back of them there. So let me, uh, let me whack it a few times myself and, without breaking the display, of course. <laughs> so this whole panel comes out here I want to see this this won't pull out here yeah, I see and so this whole panel comes off here it's got these it just snaps out it's got these nice little bolts back here one two and then two at the bottom they pop right in these holes here so don't be afraid to pull it a little it'll come out except for on the bottom we had to kind of pry it with a screwdriver a little bit so there's a unit right there so I don't know if uh, pulling the connector off put it back on will help at all but sometimes you know an, an oxidized connector can be an issue but well, that's wishful thinking anyway definitely want to check the wiring out here and make sure that uh, everything's okay and if it requires servicing the unit itself I don't know if I want to take it to that level but we'll see what we're up against <laughs> it was wine, wine. 
So, so, <laughs> so, so these, no, it, it was actually legitimate this time. <laughs> so here we've got these little tabs that got to go in the bottom first. That just pops right in. And there we go. I think we're good. Set. Yeah, it's working. Did I get the bottom in there? Did it always stick out a little bit like that on the bottom? I don't know. I better double check that. So as I was watching my own video, I just thought of a little something I wanted to add to it. Some of you are probably wondering what I just did to fix the problem there. All I essentially did was pull the unit out, pull the connectors off, and put them back on. And that's the kind of thing you'll see every once in a while. And I was going to say, you know, it could be from a, a poor spade connector like this here where it maybe wasn't biting down too hard. There's been occasions where I've been known to squeeze these a little bit to get them to bite down harder. But in this case, you know, it's it's hard to say exactly what I did to fix the problem. I'm guessing it, it could have been an oxidized connector or something that wasn't on tight enough. Now, some of you might be wondering why I didn't use an antioxidant on there like OxGuard or maybe dielectric uh, grease here, what they use in uh, automobiles quite a bit. Well, I, I have on some occasions. Um, I've been reluctant to do so with real small connectors like this, where you've got a gold plate on there already, for example. I had a situation once with an LCD TV where I went ahead and uh, I put a little, uh, what was it, some sort of a, I think it was electronic lubricant on one of the cables, and I noticed it had a slight insulating quality to it. It prevented it from making the full contact. And on those gold-plated connectors, I was reluctant to, to add anything more to it. I just figured I'd leave good enough alone. I didn't want to create a, an additional problem. Anyway, you'd wonder why they didn't do that at the factory if that was a, a good idea. Whatever the case, it got it going, so I just wanted to throw that out there. I'd love to hear your opinions on the uh, ox guard. And, uh, have you ever had a problem where you, you put a little bit of it on a connector and you found it had a slight insulating property to it. Anyway, back to the video. Well, no, that seems to be good. So what, what year of motorhome is this? This is a 2000, uh, 2019. 2019 what? Uh, it's a 2019 Thor Ace. Thor Ace, okay. That's good to know. In case somebody else has to pull one of these out there, they can see how to remove it. No officer of the United States of any So look at this burnout motorhome right here. I, I seem to see this sort of thing a lot. Oh, it, oh, that wasn't burnout. I thought maybe that caught fire. Maybe it did. I don't know. Maybe they're just pulling it off their property. I don't know. It seems like I see a lot of motorhomes, though, on the sides of the road sometimes that have caught fire. I wondered if they spontaneously combust or if they, uh, if it's vandalism or whatever. Get my camera going a little better here. 